Hello everyone, Messy Plays here, back at it again. How are you doing today? I am playing a new game. It is called Agatha Crispy, uh, Crispy? Agatha Christie's ABC Murders. Agatha Crispy. I've put subtitles on in the menu. Hopefully they are on from the beginning. Pretty cool so animation style. Are. Mr. Oh. Hercule Poirot. You fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick head British police? That is but a famous Mr. actor. Poirot, just how clever you can be. Is that the guy Perhaps out of Quantum of Solace and too hard to crack. Bell and the Butterfly? On the 21st of the month. Yours extra. A. B. C. That's a pretty good get if that's him. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. Remind yourself. Okay, clever clogs, funny. Very British. Great music, by the way. I was just admiring the music in the uh, menu before. Nice fonts. This game is very... Now, some people would say Telltale, but for me, it's 13. That was the first cell shaded game I played on the PS2, and what a game that is. What a great game. Why did they never make a sequel? All the best games, they never make sequels to. I have to admit, I've never read any Agatha Christie or actually watched the show. But I'm well familiar with Poirot. I mean, how could you not be? Cultural icon. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. <laughs> Good writing as well, wow. This is a gem of a game. Hopefully it's uh, not too hard for my thick brain. Okay, go and meet Jap, let's do it. Right, so it's not gonna be kind of still screens, we do actually control the character, that's interesting. Dash, a puddle, how clumsy. Well, I didn't click on it. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Take your time. What? Take advantage of the moments when the person you are busy... I forgot what he said there. That was on a bit too short. Find three clues I'd agree with Hercule Poirot's Is remark. Is being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Okay, that might not be the guy doing the voice, by the way. I think I might be wrong there. Okay, why is he putting his hands on there? Relaxed attitude. Wet crotch. Searching. Indeed, Poro. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Oh, he hasn't shaved today. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. Ooh, okay. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. Wow. The body Rhyme. was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of I'll be the judge of that. In her fifties, married but separated, no children. Sad. Uh -huh. Dead. Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife. And well, let's rule him out. Uh, 
That's not um, too obvious. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, it, don't you? It's just the start well, of the game, this Jack. Time you may be disappointed. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. I'm not. I'm not that old. I'll be with you in a minute, old chap. I'm just gonna start out here. Can you please walk faster? I checked the controls and all it said was mouse, so then I got immediately concerned. Where did my hat go? What's in this bag? There's a buddy back here! Well, here's that book he was fondling in the opening. Okay. It's not just any railway guy. I agree. Why did I exit? It's not just any railway guy. I'm trying to turn it around. There we go. Oh, okay. You can't click on the item. Oh, you can't. Great Central Railway Official ABC. So that's where the title comes from. Greenhouse Heating Apparatus. Apparatus, apparatus. It's open at the letter A. Okay, there so... Are no prints on the board. You can tell that? Just from your vision? What's in here? Got a feeling it's gonna be... Liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? It's a finger, isn't it? Oh, it's no. strawberries. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. Okay, there's our first suspect. I am... Um, Right, well that's two clues. It's a bit weird how they tell me how many clues I can find. Collect ego points. Let's look at the body. Let's give her a spin round. She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Yes. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even shaped pool of blood. I can't see any other mark on the floor. <sighs> I what? can't see any other. Okay. Hmm. She's holding the something. Is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. That's a shame. Hmm. What's in the her hand? Is ah, I've, I've heard that. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. Fair play. Let's back out of here. Can I spin the shop around? Let's go in the here. Door is locked. Let's find the key. Let's go over here. What's over here? What's that say? Poirot, check that out right now. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. So there was no struggle. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. Okay. So she knew the killer, maybe? That's usually the deduction. Let's check the register. No! What's that hand thing? Objects hide secret behind complex mechanisms and it is up to you to decipher them in order to find out what they are hiding. Observe the object from all angles by holding the click and moving the mouse. Zoom in by clicking on the part of the object with the left button on the mouse. Zoom out using the right. The teal does not appear. Wow, what were you going to say? I was trying to turn it around. Let's look for an on button. Here we go. The fuck's that weird music? Has just made a fin click. Okay. 
Open Sesame. Cha ching! The is full of money, but there is something strange. It's this too, isn't it? Something is hidden underneath. Let's pull it. Okay, let's look underneath. Nope. Poro, you pull that bitch right now. Something is hidden. I can tell. What do you want me Something to do? I know. What do you want? Me? How do I pull that little thing? Something is hidden underneath. Underneath what? Underneath the entire thing? I obviously have to pull that piece of paper. Is there anything else I can do on this? Not yet. Something is hidden. Oh, do not tell me that again. What's this? Hello? I'd have to stick it in there, I think. What? Eh? Something, something, too. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check this. Something, something, too. Let's try the two button. I need to find the code. Um. I'm being a bit thick here. What does this mean? Gap, gap, two. Oh god, I love puzzles like this. What's this mean? Okay. Hmm. I'm really stuck here. Something is hidden underneath. I get that. Can I can I hold on that? Ugh. Something is it. My god, man, shut up. Something, something, too. That's the code. Do I need to press a button to unlock that? Let's try the 20 button. I did fuck all. 12? I need to find the code. I know! Why do you only say that when I press 2? I need to find the code. Okay, but when I press 20, you don't say anything. What's the wrong? What's wrong with you? I need to find the code. Right. Can we shut this again? What does this do? I know exactly. That's the same symbol. Have I got to put something in there? What in God's name? I don't understand, because that looks like a slot for money, but it's not. It's just the design of the game. What does that mean? I need to find the code. Oh god, I'm thick as fuck. Oh, second number five, right. Okay. Oh, that's it. You bastard. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Good good thinking. Good thinking, Sherlock. Right. Let us head over here then. The door is locked. Oh my lord, how do you get the key? There you go. Ooh. What we got in here? Is that the husband? What a strange box. What a strange like box. Of wood to open it. Okay. Nice. I love puzzles like this. Uh, check in with me in 20 minutes when I'm just absolutely raging at this thing. 
Well, that was a nice groove. No. How do I? Okay. Oh, there we go. Mm, it is blocked. It is blocked. Mm, it is blocked. Okay. Well, let's go to another side. I was just trying to figure out how to move it. Right. Here we go. This button appears to activate the mechanism. Nice. Love the music. It's it's pretty tense. Where's the mechanism? It is a block die. Duck die. It is a block die. Another button. That one was easy. My god, this one was full of mysteries. That should do it. How do you know? Urgh, get all over the... Get over there! Well, what's this? Who is this young woman? Uh, Stacy. Stacy's mom. It is to my dear Aunt to Alice. To my dear Aunt Alice. Aunt. Aunt Thank you. I wanted to read that. What else was in the box? Have you found anything? None of your business. The victim has a niece. We must find her. Okay. I'll just do the talking. What else was in that box, you dickhead? I've finished with this subject. Oh, you have. I haven't. Ego points are weird. I'm not really sure what is going on with that. Blood on the pillow. Was she Blood. ill? On the hanky. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? Why is this picture down? Who's who's the dude? Let me read it before you do. An it inscription <sighs> German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. I disagree, Poirot. I don't think we, knew, we know enough. This interior is very simple. Okay. A couple of bottles shaped like a dick. It's a simple tap. Kuka. Bucket. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? An this old store. Asher lived very simply. Thank you. That's going to get really annoying. Who's the dude? This is another puzzle box. Oh, sweet. No. Right. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. Okay. I agree. Let's, well, it's got to be one of them, too. And these seem to lock into a specific place. It's not going to be many combinations. Unless. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, I can move this, can I? No. I cannot move this one. Well, it's got to be one of these two. Can I lock the rows in a position? 
Can't move this now? Oh, but I could move it when it's on the inside. That's interesting. Hold on. The wooden flower is preventing the circle from... I know. Right. I had it before. Why do I feel like this is really close while being really far at the same time? Maybe, what? Did I just overcomplicate this? Oh God. I just overcomplicated it, didn't I? <laughs> right, oh dear. I have to remember that now. I'm not going to remember that. Motherfucker, I think I should just start again. Let's get out of here. I think my way of solving it was a more interesting puzzle. I'll have you know. Right. Unfortunately, I forgot everything I was trying to get at. Where was it? Was it this one? Did the outside move? Is that what happened? Hold on. Let me just... Shit. The outside moves. What was the pattern I had? This is right, it's just in the wrong place. Just need to solve this real quick. But how do I get back? God damn it! Okay, this is a hard puzzle. Oh god, this is a hard puzzle. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm boned again. done. What have I done? This is a hard, hard puzzle. I hope there's a couple of methods. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I should start again. Again. Can't even see the entrance. Oh, Jesus. Um, I think I really need to start again. I think I've screwed this all up. I've, I've really balls this all up. It's 
start again, again. Let's try the front. Must be something good in here. Mm, it is blocked. Oh, you bastard. This is a good puzzle. Such a pretty decoration. I get it. Shit, such a pretty a ornamental design should be in the center. I thought I had it there. Let's go this way. Screw them all. What was here? I just need to get to the center. I mean, I don't need to go from right around the outside. But it's going to be a lot harder if I don't. If I do. It's going to be a lot easier if I do. Maybe going around the thing like this is going to help? I got no fucking idea. I'm tripping balls. Is there a simple solution to this? And I am just being completely dense. Let's go down here. Yeah. Can't see. Go there. I need a good path thing. Right. Ugh. I need one that doesn't send me back. Okay. Let's go up here. this I'm getting closer that's all I'm thinking about Poro just ripped the fucking thing off jam it in the center you feel me They all link backwards. That one's better. Grab that fucking rose! Right. Let's keep it frosty. Shit. That might work. No idea if I'm even doing this right. I've got a feeling I'm not. It's always got to be. Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as the join. Alright, let's try this and see what this gets us in relation to the last piece. Come on, please. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, I need to be either there. The wooden flower is preventing I the know. circle from turning. I need, either need to be there 
No, they're all they're both in the same position. So there's only one position I can be in. Alright, let's get back in the middle. Does anything take me? None of that none of that's gonna line up, is it? You bastards. Second puzzle in the game and I'm already absolutely tripping. Yes. No. Still wrong, but close. We are getting closer. Gonna take my chances with that. Please give me something good. This one. This, this, oh, it's not it. I'm pretty sure it's not it. God damn it, man. Me. This is really hard. This is it, I think. I think this is it. If I can get, if I can get a middle one that'll play along. Oh my god, please! Oh my fucking god, please! Oh, wait a minute. There you go. Oh my god. I heard a faint sound as if something wasn't locked. So did I, Brara. So did I. Mm, it is blocked. By what? Mm, it is blocked. That's that's it sound. No, God. I just need to know what was unlocked. I can't move this anymore. It's making a weird really it must be this thing on the front. Mm, it is blocked. By what? Mm, it is blocked. What the fuck are you talking about? Why is that noise so weird? Mm, it is blocked. Come on. Blocked by what? I've unlocked the thing. I'm confused. You just said it sounded like it unlocked. But everything's still blocked up. I can't seem to move anything. I do not want to reset this puzzle. Why is it clickable down here? Mm, it is blocked. Blocked by what? Mm, it is blocked. What are you talking about? Why is this not clickable? But this is. 
And what is that crazy sound? Do I literally have to come out of here? Because I, I do not want to reset this puzzle. Mm, it is blocked. Mm, it is blocked. You are killing me here. What does this mean? What does this do? I'm scared. Oh my god. I would, r I would rather there be no sound than this crazy shop door opening after scratching balls sound. What is this? What do I do? If I have to quit this and do this again, I'm going to rip Poirot's moustache off. What the fuck is the problem? There we go. Okay, we've got something. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so make sure none of the image is in the green, I guess? Oh, this is random. This is random, I, d I don't get this. That sounds like it's moving shit. Either that or like Chewbacca is... Mm, it is blocked. Thank you. Let's check the top then. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Is that a clue? Upside down. Oh my god. <sighs> Facing, let's say, one o'clock. Is that this one? That wasn't this one. One o'clock. Oh my god, you're making it harder. Um five to twelve. Five to nine. There we go. Jesus. Let's get the SIM card out. Loading them. What the hell is loading them? Medicine. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. I agree. Note. How about you read the front next from time? Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, and Dover. To Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. 
Adam Flint. Mrs. Asher's meager savings <laughs> were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Poor woman. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to leave the video there and join me next time. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. We're on for more Poirot journeys. Goodbye.